takes a lot to get this city boy out into the country, but this week I'm going to take you through the southern forest greatest highlights. I'm going to show you a town that's known for its local country music, that's even building a better reputation for their local produce. Welcome to Boya Brook, a real country town. This idyllic destination is packed full of surprises, a town that prides itself on its quirky collections and is surrounded by stunning farmland, producing incredible gourmet delights. One location combining both of these attributes is a short drive from town. Jinan Kavalam Estates, a relaxing farm stay where you can glamp it right on the banks of the Blackwood River. I'm here to catch up with a local legend who knows all about Boyup's best produce. Cheers. Thank you for having me here, Rhonda. This is spectacular. Glamping right up my alley. Look at the produce as well. I don't think I'm going to leave tonight. I'm staying here. I can understand that perfectly. And looking over this Blackwood River that goes right down to Augusta and starts up in Hyden, this is a beautiful time of the year. It's autumn. There's a tinge of green. There's lambs on the ground. It's just beautiful. So what we see here is pretty much people who live off the land, not just working the land, actually producing products now, isn't it? Yes, here at Ginn and Cavallum Estates, they concentrate on making produce from what they've produced on the land. I'm, I'm going to start with the ice cream because I think that's the most spectacular. We have this beautiful black garlic. They make their own, they and grow black their... garlic ice cream. Black garlic ice cream. Bring it over here, let me try it. You try it. They make, grow their own garlic. They process the garlic so it becomes black garlic. We've got a black garlic dip here. It is such a different flavour. That actually has got the taste of, like, say, a fig or a prune, that kind of depth it of flavour. You would not pick that to be garlic. If I was to leave here, which I'm not planning to, because I've got everything I need, what else could I do in the town? Lots to see over a few days. Harvey Dixon's Country Music Centre. There's also Bert and Angie's car collection. And, of course, last but not least, the Quacking Frog teapot collection, which I would suggest was the biggest teapot collection in the world. I never thought I'd be visiting a place for their teapots, but this is something else, home to around 5,000 pieces, and I can guarantee you, you've never seen anything like this anywhere in the country. 